it's Tuesday. I'm mowing alone again. I'm actually quite out of breath. The uh, the work here is is hard in the sun. It's just exhausting, and pushing a mower is uh, tiring, especially in this thick, really thick, dense grass. But uh, you can see my foot sinking. In this, how dense this grass is, it'll absorb your whole foot. It's quite exhausting. There are animals living in the grass. It's so thick and dense here. But uh, look at that. It's just amazing. So thick. There are places where it's even more dense. It'll absorb your whole foot. It's even harder to push the mower through. But that's not why I brought the camera out. The reason I brought the camera out is I want to show you something that I keep mowing down. And this time I saved. Here's a wild edible. Also commonly found in Australia and all around the U.S. This is the dandelion. This is a very good vegetable. My grandparents talk about eating this when they were kids. This is a uh, good salad leaf. Just pop it right in your mouth or eat it in a salad. The younger leaves are better. Um, this is actually a very nice sweet plant. It's good, very good find there. And a dandelion flower. Pop the head off. Nice sweet smell. I love it. And eat it. So, dandelions are good for the blood, good for the circulation, and have a lot of other health benefits, which I've described in previous videos in America. But it's nice to find food that I recognize in Australia. Wild edibles in Australia. It's good. So now I can finish my job and mow these under. So I'm done snacking on them. Very healthy. Very good stuff for you. Good greens. The whole part of the dandelion is edible. The root makes a good coffee substitute. If you um, pull it out, roast it, and grind it up. There's another. Not going to let food go to waste here. This is really a nice treat. This is my first dandelions in Australia. It's funny. People in uh, back home are freezing in the snow, and I'm eating dandelions. It's odd. Now here's another wild edible. Well, not always wild, but um, commonly found around the world. Often it's cultured, cultivated, but rose hips are a valuable source of vitamin C and also have a lot of other health benefits. Um, rose hips often do grow in the wild, but they're smaller. Uh, rose, roses, I should say. Look at all these orange fruits of the rose plant. Look at them. There's some nice big ones. Big orange fruits. Very high in vitamin C. Very healthy for you. Um, if you open it up, let me set the camera down here a minute. I don't know if you see a thing here. Just a minute. Open this up. This is a tough one. There you go. It's uh, full of seeds and then a meaty shell. Honestly, it's not nice tasting just plain. Mm. Yeah. Sort of sweet, sort of sour, but that's the vitamin C in it. So you grind these up, make yourself a very healthy tea. It's good for survival. So there you have a few more survival foods in Australia. Things can be found pretty much everywhere. Can help save your life one day.